Father, we pray for your Spirit's anointing on this message today. Help us to remember that without your guidance, without the rudder of God, our ship will crash and the purpose of this message will be lost. We pray for your presence in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today, I'd like to talk about a verse in the Gospel of John. Turn your Bibles to John 1, verse 12. We're going to look at verse 12 and 13. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name who were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. The key word I want everyone here to focus on today is received. It says, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. And our biggest aspiration in life should be this goal. If we are not co-heirs with Christ, then we are as damned as the world. But what does it mean to receive Christ. Ask yourself the question, what does it mean to receive? This is a life or death question. What does it mean to receive Christ? Well, the word in Greek is elebon. And if you look at the concordance, it's got various uses. It can mean received, took, or caught. All of these are reactionary. To catch something means someone has to throw it. To take something means it couldn't have been yours to begin with. Now on to the most important one. Receive. It all comes back to Revelation 3.20. God is knocking at your door. You need to answer it. It's reactionary. What do you have to do? The word receive, according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, has a lot of definitions. I'm going to give you three. To act as a container for, e.g. the cistern receives water from the roof. To permit to enter, you receive someone into your home, you've permitted them to enter. To accept as authoritative, true or accurate. I love these definitions. We tell unbelievers and lukewarm believers alike to receive Christ all the time, but we don't consider that it isn't as simple as receiving a bottle of wine from a friend or giving your mum a gift at Christmas and her receiving it. To receive Christ, you need to act as a container for him, the Holy Spirit. Permit him to enter your life. He is the one who knocks, but you have to open the door. To accept his authority. If Yahweh doesn't have authority in your life, you haven't received Christ and you are not a child of God. You are a child of rebellion. Let me repeat that last one. Accept his authority. If the person with the final say in your life and what you do and how you act isn't God, you are not a child of God because you haven't received his son. If your moral standing comes from what others think or even worse, what you think, you are not a child of God. Be a container. Permit him to enter. Accept his authority. In summation, when we elebon Christ, when we receive Christ, we have the right, not just the opportunity, to be welcomed into God's family and to be co-heirs with the one and only Son. What a blessing. Praise Yahweh.